is going to be a review of the Briefton's Kitchen Series Quick Push Food Chopper. Model BR-QP-02. Just start out by saying if my videos help you out, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. And if you have a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do the review. So what do we have here? A three-in-one onion, veggie, fruit, and cheese chopper. Uh, some instructions here that I'm going to have to look at. You're supposed to cut down some of the large items so that it can fit into the opening of this. Placing the veggie thing on the blade. Press the handle down. It's got a lid if you want to store stuff. And I, I remember when I bought it, it said uh, it's got a little brush so that you don't have to put your fingers on the blade. Reading a lot of the reviews, many people said this thing is exceptionally sharp. And if you clean it with your fingers, you're probably going to cut yourself because the blades are extremely sharp. So the blades are sharp, and I'm going to have to cut the, the box open here. The, the top thing, we've got one blade is already mounted in there. This is upside down as it's packaged. And we have two blades sitting inside there, some coupons, I think, the container, and then we've got the lid. So let me wash all of this, and then what I'm going to do, I don't know how much I want to really show. What I want to do, though, is I've got this dog treat called Happy Howie's, and that's the reason I bought this, is I want to be able to dice this thing up for a good dog treat to make it easy to... to this comes on a two-pound roll. It's very difficult to use a knife. I just did a review on doing it with a knife, and... Uh, I might, I don't know if I have any fruit here. If I do, then I'll pop it in here. If I don't, then we're just going to work on the Happy Howies to see how this product works. Everything washed up. I'm not really sure if I am going to use either one of these blades in the demo. Don't try this at home. A lot of people say these are extremely sharp. I've got a magnifier on my, thing, on my head, a visor, so I can zoom in and watch exactly what I'm doing as I do this. Um, I just want to see... Okay, of course it's not sharp there because the magnifier is showing me the blade. You can see the blade. See the angle of the blade over there? So the, these look exceptionally, very sharp. These are sharp. I can feel it. Whoa, I can feel a catch on the fingerprint. Okay, so these are very sharp. You will really have a deep cut if this thing hits your finger. Um, the cleaner is mostly a comb that I think is made for the inside top piece that I'm going to show you in a minute. Let me get these blades out of the way. I'm not going to use those. So we have the, we have a little lip over here, and we have a lip on this end, and it looks like this attaches. I'm trying to make sure this is in the video. Be careful, you got blades over here. So it looks like this attaches and then closes down. Is that it? Um, okay, so that went on fairly easily. And then the top goes up, and then, can I get this in the video? I just want to try to show as much as I can in this video. Um, okay, so what you would be doing, this is the, how does this come out? Does this just snap out? Probably just snaps out. Okay, seat that down, that snaps down. Let's, uh, does this pop out? It looks like it just snaps in there. Huh? Let me try it. I don't want to break this thing, but let me see. I'm going to have to maybe do this at one time. Um, I know they have a video on how to do this, but I'm a guy, so I don't watch videos and, and give me instructions. Okay, that's all it is. You just now, That's very easy to do. And let me show you how it pops back in place. You see you got the little legs over there, the little tabs, and then it snaps in. So this is going to be an easy thing to clean. For me, I'm the kind of person, don't mess with it if you don't need to. Don't cause yourself more problems. So I'll probably just keep this in here and clean it that way. Um, and the comb is meant for this thing, so that if you get food in there, food stuck. For me, I would probably just use a regular brush to clean it out. So everything's washed. Um, now what you need to do is you take your food and you make sure that it fits into this area and then you would press the thing down and obviously this is going to press push the food through the holes and it's going to cut everything. So I am going to take my Happy Howies now. I, I like these treats. Let me show you. This is what I've been using. She's a small dog 
and I cut this by hand. These are about perfect. When I go to the training place, they've got long strips of this or much bigger chunks, but they're also dealing with a lot bigger dogs. My little lady sitting over there in the hallway watching me because she knows that I took the treats out and she knows something's going on. So, this is for her. It's really not that hard to do this with a knife, but I plan on training the dog a lot more than I was before. And I'm not going to, well, let me put in a plug, an unpaid plug. Happy Howie's. You buy them online. This is what the training place uses. Did I take off the wrapper? I guess I took off the wrapper. So, um, this is a turkey roll. They also have it in a beef roll. And what you learn in dog training, I'm just going to make this, I think I'm going to try just one, I'll try two of these. That's a, it's probably about a quarter of an inch. What you learn in dog training is that it's just repetition and treats. Not that your dog is going to do everything you want or is going to learn everything you want. Any dog owner will tell you that's not true. Okay, I don't, I don't want to go smaller because then it makes it really difficult to pick up the treat. And for me, the dog could easily handle smaller pieces, but for me, it's just really hard to pick it up. So the whole idea of dog training is you just have to be uh, persistent and you'll get where you need to go, usually. Um, so this is, what is this? This is probably like two, two and a half inches or so. Okay, so the, the treat is actually perfect, the perfect diameter for this. So all I'm going to do now is I want to zoom out a little bit. I want to be able to show you exactly what's going on here without all this junk on the counter that I've got. Because I don't know how to clean. I know how to make videos, but I don't know how to clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out a little bit. I'm zoomed out as far as I can. And I've got the treat on there now, and I'm just going to... They want you to use pressure, obviously, to press the food through the hole of the blades. So, light. Let's just how much pressure does this need? I would not you do this with carrots. I, you, I think they say you can do it with carrots and potatoes. Some people said they you, did that, and I want this thing to last a long time, so I would be careful about how thick you go with some of this stuff. It does need some pressure. It needs a lot of pressure, actually. Okay, so it's a little bump. My neighbor's probably not going to be thrilled. Uh, a lot, there's a lot, of, a lot of gunk on the blade. I don't know why that had to happen. Okay, the dog is over here. She smells the treats. Let's look inside and see what we get. Okay, I don't mind the gunk on the blade now because these are nice and symmetrical. And this just did what I could not do in a few minutes with the knife. So let's zoom out again. I'm happy. I'm definitely happy. That's how you know in my videos if I'm pleased with the product is when I say I'm happy. Look at that. That's perfect. That might even be a little too small, but it makes it easier because then I can load my hand with a bunch of these treats and not overfeed her like I was doing when I went into training. So what I'm going to do is finish trimming this roll I'm not going to go any smaller than this, and we'll, uh, we'll watch and we'll see how long it takes to do one pound of Happy Howie's, how, to, how long it takes to trim half of a roll, which is one pound. There, people, I got 21 slices and then a big slice that's going to the dog. So I've got this on a towel because I have a neighbor below me, and this is going to make some noise hitting the uh, counter. That is not an even piece, but that's okay. I think this is real. This is definitely going to work out really well for my training. Okay, if you are really tall, this will be very easy because then you can put a lot of pressure flat down. Um, and remember, I'm just cutting meat, so and this this is going to take. Uh, this does take some hand force, some body pressure. Not difficult. I would not do this on a, a table. I would do this on a counter because you're going to put a lot of pressure on the table. Oh, boy. I'm not thrilled making that noise for the neighbor, but what time is it? It's 7 o'clock. That's okay. So, 
yeah, that kind of hurt my wrist just now. This is just a, a neat roll. There's, ow, yeah, that really hurt my wrist because I'm just in a bad angle doing this for the video. Let's see if I can turn this and not injure my wrist doing the rest of the video. I want this a little closer to me. Uh, if I was a little higher up, it would be a lot easier. This countertop is very tall. Okay, this could not be easier for trimming your food rolls, your dog rolls, your, your, okay, now, now it's working a little easier. Maybe, yeah, I just got to get through this 21 rolls. He'll be able to handle the noise. It's probably noisier for me than the thump going through the counter. Okay, so that worked a little better. Now it's not so bad on my wrist. You really need to have this where you're not leaning forward. It's got to be underneath you if you're doing, and this is not, this is just meat. Just a, a thick meat roll. It's working really good. I, I am thrilled. I've got dog training this Sunday, but I train the dog every night. And if I, the video that I just did to do half of, uh, half the food roll, which is, okay, this is much thicker. We'll see how hard this is going to be to do. The video that I just did, it took, it took a long time. It really took a long time to cut half a roll because I had to cut it. I had to make the slices, then I had to make more slices, and I had to make more slices than the dices, than the slices. So, uh, we're almost done. It seems to work better. Okay, this is a real thick one, so this is going to be this will be a, a really good test. It's going to go through. The blades are definitely doing what they're supposed to do. Again, if you could, if you're really tall and you can go straight down, great. Uh, get, get a. Uh, honestly, this would be perfect to do on a floor. Nobody wants to do their stuff on a floor, but this would be perfect on a floor with something that's. Get on your knees and you just put your body pressure down on it. Okay, it did that. It just did it. Okay, yeah. And there's there's. It, there's kind of some meat hanging through there. This is a soft meat, and that's why I don't know how this would work on soft cheese. This container is almost full. But gosh, just the time it saves me is what I'm looking at. Okay, so I get this nice big chunk. This is going to be the last one. I'm gonna. That's a really thick piece, so that's going to give me thick thick big pieces of treat. And it actually worked out better. I don't know if it's stuck in the blade now or what. It didn't. All right, so what do we have here? Not that much left over in there. People were complaining about stuff being left over in there. It did, you know, it did really well. It, that's in the blade. Not that much is stuck in the blade. Let's go look in the container now. Look what I just did. Unbelievable. That's one pound of dog treats that I just cranked this thing out within a couple minutes. Um, where did I put that? Okay, so we've got this tool over here. I'm going to use the tool. You always want to use your tool on your uh, meat cutter. So stuff is, a little bit of the food is stuck in there and this works really well. Definitely don't want to get it you don't want to wear out the blade, but this works out really nice. So now I'm going to try this area over here. Okay, so the, that works out good. Helps you get your, your food or your meat out of there. You don't want your meat stuck in, the, uh, in that. Um, and it's sticking in there because, again, it's a soft meat. It's a soft product. I don't know how well, I would think hard cheese would work really good on this. Soft cheese, well, all I can say is it worked. If This is remarkable. And they're even, they're symmetrical. So that's going to be my review of how to cut your meat treats, your Happy Howies, your blue, I forget what they are, I'll list them all in the, uh, in the video thing, in the description. But I highly recommend this product. I could not be happier. And I'm going to continue on in two seconds. I'm going to wash this off because I don't want to eat dog food and, or dog treats. And I'm going to do an apple just to see how it works. Back in a few minutes. This out. Just look at this. This I, I am thrilled. It's hard enough training a dog, but to have to cut two pounds of dog treats 
and make them look nice. Almost everything, yeah, there's some little pieces that came out uh, from getting stuck in the blade, but I would say 99% of this is nicely cut and ready for dog training. And back. All right, now, I just had to clean this thing. Uh, without the comb, I would have had a lot of problems. The soft meat was stuck into here, and a lot of people just want instant gratification. you got to be patient. The meat was stuck in there. I put warm water on, hot water on there, and it was, this is not the product's fault. This was, this is just how it is. You have a soft cheese, a soft meat, it gets stuck in there. you got to heat it up, warm it up so that it gets out of there. The comb, the little thing they gave, removed it right away. I'm using the larger blade now. Um, so as far, I, I believe this cover comes off. You're supposed to turn it or twist it somehow. There's a video on that somewhere. But uh, like I said, I'm just going to leave this thing alone. The less, less you mess with something, the better. This blade comes out very easily. Uh, so cleaning, cleaning is like cleaning with any, any dicer or any food processor. Nobody wants to clean them because it's not fun. But, all right, why can't I get a straight cut here? This is just a knife. All right, that's pretty thick. Um, I don't know if it's going to handle that. And so that, this will be a good test. This will be a really good test. Let's see what it does. Uh, can I get this on the video? That, no, that's way too thick. That is way, it doesn't even fit in the area. So what I want to do, I'm going to go in half again, and I think that should make it better. Find out. Let me just dice the whole thing up right now while, or cut it up. It's kind of weird because I really don't eat apples that much because I used to love them. Ow! That hurt. But now I'm kind of allergic to them. And I bought an apple for my mom, and she didn't eat it for a couple weeks, so I brought it over here. And who, who knew that I would need it for my review? Okay, so we've got the apple there. Um, that piece looks pretty big. Well, well, let's just check it out right now. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's get this wonderful, what's the company's name again? Briefton's. Let's get this here and we'll see what it does. They, they do say don't make it really thick, but it's an apple, so let's see what it does. It fits, fits in there. And again, it's got, I've got the, whole, the wider things. This is the medium size. I didn't want to have little itty bitty pieces of apple. Cover is snapped on there, so let's press it down and let's see how it works. Ow! Don't put your finger in there. Be careful. You don't want to do that. That was stupid of me. Um, that, <laughs> except for my stupid mistake, it cut up the apple. Wow. You know, I'm, I'm, okay, don't do that. Don't, I'm going to put my hands on the side so I can't do that stupid thing. Let's see how this works. Oh, much better. Okay, so I'm getting some nice apple cut over there. I got one piece stuck on the blade, um, the skin. And I think a potato is probably about the equivalency of, a, of an apple, so it might work out really well. Just keep your fingers away from that thing. All right. Um, this is a really thick piece, but it does fit in there, so let's see what it does. I'm going to get my hand on here and keep it away. Sorry about my... Yeah, it's doing good. You know, I'm thrilled. The price is, is very reasonable, and I bought it again because of the dog treats. And because last week I spent a long time, uh, as you saw in the video, doing the uh, cutting the dog treats. So this is really neat for dicing. And you get three different blades. Let's get those blades again. And get that blade, and which is really too too big for me. The small blade, which is perfect for the dog treats. And if you've got a dog that's going to need dog treats this size, you probably own a bear and not a dog. Last one. Keep the fingers out of the way. This is a great product. This is. I'm just. I'm happy. I like when I buy something that works. And. This will clean up a lot easier. Oh, well, look at that. There's nothing in there. So with an apple, there's going to be very little cleaning. With the meat, it's soft meat, and when you're cutting your soft meat, you're going to end up with gunk sitting in there, and it's going to take a little while to clean. So let's open this thing up now. Maybe I'll have an allergic reaction while I'm uh, on video here. And we've got a nice 
It just depends on the thickness of the apple, what you end up getting, how thick I cut the slices. So I got a nice little uh, dice piece over here. Um, mm. Mm -mm. I used to eat these all the time before I started with the allergy thing. This is a great product. Uh, let me get the box again. I'm going to be using this so much I won't need to keep it in a box. So we've got the Briefton's Kitchen Series BR-QP-02 with the three blades. This is the end of the lid. I'm, I'm not going to leave this in the fridge. I already transferred the dog treats into a bag. So as far as a dicer, this thing is it's well worth the money. And the way I know how good a product is for me or how happy I am is this didn't cost that much. It wasn't cheap. It didn't cost a lot. And if I ended up breaking this, if, if it snapped, if the plastic broke in a couple months, I wouldn't care. I'd go out and buy another one because that's how useful and handy something like this is. So to me, I want something that's going to last, and I'm sure this is going to last. But if it didn't last, I would not be upset because the value that I'm getting out of a product like this is worth it to purchase. So again, thanks for watching my videos. Please do that thumbs up, subscribe, or a like. Bye. Well, let's see if I can get her over here. She knows something's up when she sees that I've got the camera. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come. So she's worried that I'm going to try to give her a flea pill or something, and so she's hiding. Come here. Come. Over here. No, come over here. Over here. Sit. Okay, I want this on the video. Sit. Good girl. Let's move this back just a little bit. Ugh. Down. Doing hand signals now. Stay. Sit. And there it is. How awesome is that? Gobbling her all down. Oh, no. She's going to start choking. All right. Thanks for watching. Oh, I love you. Yeah. Look at that tail. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're so beautiful.